In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use gradient fills in the Fill Bucket tool. You'll begin by selecting the Rectangle tool and drawing an area on the stage that we can actually fill with a color. It already has a gradient fill in it. Color in here doesn't matter because we're going to change it. If you just want to select a regular color or a preset gradient, they are available in your color picker tool. Radial gradients will have their lightest spot or their center spot wherever the tool is clicked. Linear gradients doesn't matter. You can also pick solid colors and you can change the alpha on the solid color right here. And you can slide it and you can see that's a pre a sample, it's partially transparent. But the interesting thing is being able to use gradients. A linear gradient initially starts typically with black and white, but I've been playing with mine in this version of Flash, so it's wherever you had it set last. And you can click on the color swatches to change the starting and ending colors. And it will smoothly transition from one to the other. You can then apply those transitions to any shape. But you don't aren't stuck with just two colors. You can truly create a rainbow by clicking in adding additional colors and adding swatches. which you can then apply. If you don't like one of the swatches you put in, to get rid of it, you just click and drag it off the screen, and that'll get rid of it. To change the direction that your gradient fills, you, underneath the free transform tool, there's a gradient transform tool. When you select with the gradient transform tool, you'll get a circle handle that lets you change the direction. And sometimes it's useful to zoom out because you can also stretch and shift the center point to change the effect of the gradient. That's a linear gradient. The radial gradient is very similar. If you just change it, you still have the same fills. You can change the color, and again when you use the fill bucket tool, the center point, which is the left-handed swatch, moves with it. When you use the free transform tool, gradient transform tool underneath it, you have alternate, you have more options here. You can stretch, rotate, resize and move your gradient center point to give you exactly the look that you feel that you are going for creating sunsets interesting skies shadows etc that's how to use the gradient and the gradient transform tools in flash